D- George Tooney clearly never talked about in that whole article. He didn't mention Project 2025 once. Neither did Stephanopoulos. None of them did. But you're going to tell me how somebody's old? The polls are showing a downward spiral. That Joe is not Biden, true. Joe, Joe Biden. That is not true. Well, it is. That is not true. It, 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 it's it, 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 Every poll deal is showing that. But They're but virtually the, where they were. The polls are virtually where they were. No, they're not. That's not no, they're, 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 no, they're not. No, they're not. They're just not. Uh, and and, uh, and, and you can look at the look at the CBS poll. Look at the CNN poll. He is losing in every battleground state okay, now. Hold aside. So, so the point I'm making is the people who are saying that Joe Biden's mental acuity is just not there anymore are not supporting Donald Trump. At least in the Democratic your, your Party, your point is that the they mass are, media they, tends they to want be to def- more liberal. They want to defeat Donald Trump, but they don't think Joe Biden can do it. Trump derangement syndrome is real, and it has infiltrated and has poisoned so many people, especially in the black community. And you know how I talk about the church plants, the traditional black pastors who sabotage the black community. But you also have these so-called celebrity plants that are so delusional, so deranged, it does not matter what the facts are, it does not matter what is presented to them, they will go down with Joe Biden regardless. One of those characters is D.L. Hughley, the comedian. This dude, I don't know what Kamala Harris and Joe Biden gave this dude, but this dude is out here tap dance for them like I've never seen before. He is the primary plant in the black celebrity culture that is tap dancing for them like no one else this man they dispatched this man out here to number one keep black folks in line to make sure black people understand they better vote for joe biden and number two they dispatched this man who was so 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 ignorant of the truth and other facts but yet is an embarrassment to black people but yet they expect black people to get on board because dl hughley is behind joe biden please As we mentioned, George Clooney was urging the party to move on from Biden after the debate, writing in the New York Times, quote, our party leaders need to stop telling us that 50 million people didn't see what we just saw. We're also terrified by the prospect of a second Trump term that we've opted to ignore every warning sign. Whether you like this or not, uh, uh, President Biden has had uh, the legislative agenda that would rival FDR. And so... I think that while uh, people have... On that point, I will agree with you, D.L. Hughley. He does have the legislative agenda that will rival FDR. You want to know why? Because he is the most progressive president ever. This dude has pushed so many anti-American, anti-God, anti-biblical executive orders and legislation that it would make FDR proud. Because FDR started this with the whole New Deal. And then Lyndon Baines Johnson continued it with the Great Society program. And Joe Biden has put that thing on steroids and on blast. But D.L. Hughley, you will not admit to this fact. These progressive policies, they don't help black people. They help the illegal migrants coming in and taking all the resources and the black jobs from black people in Chicago and Detroit and New York and Atlanta and places like this. And he's pushed the LGBTQ agenda, D.L. Hughley. That doesn't help black people either. And oh, he's pushed the reproductive justice, D.L. Hughley. That doesn't help black people either. But you wouldn't say that in convenient fact, will you? The right to voice their opinion, they should be rooted in some level of sanity. If you look at where, for instance, if you look at where uh, George W. Bush. Dude, you are the one that is insane. You are insane back in a man that everybody in the mama knows is compromised mentally. But you back this man, you tap dance for him and Kamala Harris for no apparent reason other than the clout it gets you. It gets you clout, it gets you clicks, it gets you likes on social media. John Kerry were at this time of the, in their race in June and July of that year. Uh, Kerry was seven points ahead of him. If you look at where Barack Obama and Mitt, Mitt Romney were in their race, uh, October 16th, uh, two and a half weeks before that election, Kerry, uh, um, Romney was four points ahead of, uh, of, ahead of Obama. So Those are at the national level. Those comparisons are not apples to apples. Number one, 
Donald Trump was a former president. So people know what they had when he was president. And number two, people have seen the diminished state of Joe Biden. You can't compare those two previous races. How about, see, it's so inconvenient. It is so inconvenient that people pick and choose what facts and what scenarios and what events in history they want to pull from. How about you look at the approval rating of Joe Biden and what has happened to past incumbents with an approval rating at that percentage? You wouldn't talk about that though, will you, D.L. Hughley? And the thing that those two people have in pop, uh, pop common is the power of the incumbents. So you have openly uh, people advocating for a, a president to give up the power of the bully pul pulpit and the incumbency months before a presidential election, which is ridiculous. I don't ever, historically, no president has ever gave up incumbency. No party has ever given up the incumbency of the president mm -hmm. and won the election. It's just never happened. What I found, there was an interesting point, and I, I, I hear you in the historical references, it gives great context to understand how these numbers can shift. But there was a, po a point in this. Um and this is why black people, by and large, remain in the current state. Because you have these people as your spokespeople. These people who are supposed to represent black intelligentsia, right? These people who are supposed to be the exceptions, the talented 10th. They're up here spewing this ignorance. She talking about he made a good point. That dude didn't make a good point. That was pure ignorance. That was pure cherry picking of the facts of different scenarios in history. This dude did not make a great point, but because you're also pushing this agenda, Laura Coates, you're also on board this foolishness. In this op-ed, and when he talks about how, and I'll read it here, he's talking about how there was new and upsetting information. He talks about, well, no, we all think Republicans should abandon their nominee now that he's been convicted of 34 felonies. And so I just wonder from the perspective of the timing aspect of it, did you see anything with respect to President Biden and the power of the incumbency that would give you the same level of concern about Republicans trying to replace their I, nominee because of felony convictions and Biden's 90 minutes? I think that I, I interviewed the before he answers. See, that's what these media people do. Biden's 90 minutes. No, it's Biden's last four years. But because you guys have kept it under wraps, because you are the propaganda arm for the Democratic Party, you've kept this from the majority of American citizenry. But 51 million people saw that debate and they saw him. So you can't keep this under wraps and say it's just for 90 minutes. Please, this has been going on for a long time and you know it. President, uh, on May 29th, mm -hmm. uh, uh, a few weeks before the uh, debate, uh, at the White House and on Air Force One. Now, obviously, he's an older man. Obviously, there's no dis it's disputing that. But let's be clear. Um, the Democrats should be focusing on what's at stake in terms of what they're running against. The the one thing that I didn't hear uh, uh, George Clooney mention was pro was uh, Project 2025. Mm -hmm. And I think we have a decidedly different vantage point. If you look at who Project 2025 affects the most, it is communities of color. That is a straight up lie. That is a straight up lie. He's about to tell you some more lies. Project 2025, if I said in the previous video, Project 2025 is not being pushed by the president. Project 2025 is being pushed by conservative organizations. Project 2025 will not hurt black people. This is a scare tactic being pushed by these Democrats because they know Donald Trump is getting a large share of the black vote, in particular the black male vote. So what do they have to do? They have to scare black people into voting for Joe Biden. So what do they talk about? Project 2025. Don't you see the coordination that's been happening with Project 2025? It started with Taraji P. Henson at the BET Music Awards. Joy Reid talks about it. All of these Lizzo talked about it. All of these black celebrities are talking about Project 2025 and they are so ignorant. They have no idea what they're talking about. They got their marching orders from their liberal puppet masters. So therefore they have to go out here and tap dance for Joe Biden and the Democrats. This is a shame. This is sad. That Joe is not Biden, true. Joe, Joe Biden. That is not true. Well, it is. That is not true. It, 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 it's, it, it, every poll deal is showing that. But they're but virtually where they were. The polls are virtually where they were. No, they're not. That's not that. No, they're, they're, they're no, they're not. No, they're not. They're just not. Uh, and and uh, and, and you can look at the look at the CBS poll. Look at the CNN poll. He is losing in every battleground state okay. now. Hold aside. So so the point I'm making is the people who are saying that Joe Biden's mental acuity is just not there anymore are not supporting Donald Trump. At least in the Democratic your, Party, your point is that the they mass are, media they, tends they to want be to more liberal. They want to defeat Donald Trump, but they don't think Joe Biden can do it. 
Well, okay, maybe they maybe they don't think that. But the conversations that they're having are not really the things that will. If, if Joe Biden is a nominee, I don't know how you buy this back. But if, if we were having conversations, if if, if, if as a, as as what's for in, in Project 2025, the Department of Education is disbanded. Who does that hurt? It actually helps black people, D.L. Hughley. Has the Department of Education done anything really substantial to improve the lot of black children by and large? No. If you offer school choice to the black community, have schools compete, you will see improvement in test scores. You see improvement in knowledge in the black community. You see improvements in education in the black community. But you won't say that because your liberal puppet masters who are in bed with the NEA and the teachers union want to continue the Department of Education. The social safety net is gone. Who does that hurt? If environmental rollbacks are taken back, who does that hurt? Well, they have taken everything and piled it on the civil rights movement. Now you have environmental justice. This is a Marxist playbook. See, they use the civil rights movement to weasel their way into the federal government. And now they're calling everything justice, from reproductive justice, which is not about justice for reproduction at all, to environmental justice, like we are gods, like we can control the weather. They think they are gods, and that's why they act like that. If 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 uh, women lose the right of, for their bodily autonomy, who does that hurt? Dude, see, this is the ignorance of a person like D.L. Hughley, this tap dancer right here. Do you know who has the most abortions percentage wise? Black women, D.L. Hughley. But nah, you won't admit to that fact either because you are so far in bed with Kamala Harris and Joe Biden that you will promote things that hurt the black community. You are promoting people that hurt the black community. You are promoting people that send in these migrants from other countries that take away resources from the black community, that, that take away jobs from black people. But yet you will promote this all because of political clout and political power. That's why I say these plants right here, these are the plants, this black bougie elite, they want to keep their place. And so therefore they will continue to advocate for policies that they know will hurt black people. There is so much deception being pushed in what this man is saying. This man is deceived. This man is full of delusion. Oh. I, I will respect people's right to have their vantage point. But for me, there's a decided difference be somebody being disappointed with the outcome of election and having a disastrous result from it. So if, if we're gonna have conversations, let's converse, have conversations what is really at stake. The worst that would happen is if Joe Biden couldn't do it, a very competent, capable woman would step in and do it. So how is this a real argument? How is it a real argument? Your point is stick with the incumbent because history shows you have a better chance with the incumbent and if it doesn't, and if he can't continue, you have a good backup. So what is the, what is you the ride with Biden. What is the worst that can happen? What Democrats are saying, the worst that can happen is that Joe Biden, the handwriting is on the wall and he's going to lose the election. Ain't I a Democrat? Don't I talk to me as a Democrat all the time? Why is it that George Clooney... Here's the truth of the matter. We have a decidedly different vantage point of what we need for in this country. We, we do. We have a... If you look at the, the demographic breakdown of the Democratic Party and how they break down and why they vote the way they do, we have a different vantage point. And all of this hand wringing, one of the reasons Democrats have problems because they oftentimes look like feckless cowards. Cowards. Yeah, I understand what we're up against, but we've had worse. But to have these conversations and not one mention the remedy which you already have is that a competent vice president who's already leading in the polls would take over. It's a false narrative. You never mentioned that, and you never but mentioned there it. are it's people. Insane. There are people who are saying in the Democratic Party they want Kamala Harris to be the standard bearer for the party. They got her. They already got her as a standard what? bearer, not You're as a vice ever president, as the actual as candidate. The, as the right. candidate. Let me tell you something. Why would you right now? Make a president in this course of lesson a lame duck. It's stupid. Because he would lose to Trump. You know what? Here's what I'll say to you. I'm a, I'm bored with, with all of this hand wringing. What it is, is the fight we have. If he stays, then we, I got to find a way and people got to find a way to win. If he doesn't, we still got to find a way to win. Stop having this argument with me. Uh, not, I'm not talking about you in general. With the people, if the worst that can happen is that Kamala Harris takes over. There you have it. Democrat D.L. Hughley tap dancing for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. See, these are the people that supposedly represent the black community. They don't. 
They sabotage the black community because they push for policies and things that do harm to the black community. They do harm to the black community because they don't advocate for the agency that we have as human beings and the agency that the majority of black people say they have as Christians. They don't advocate for that. They advocate for things that see your agency to the government. Do you want the government to tell you what to do? Do you want the government to tell you how to live? Do you want the government in every aspect of your life? If you do, tap dance for D.L. Hughley. I choose otherwise because I'm not a victim. You're not a victim. We are empowered for greatness.